Virgo, it is uh, important to clear out clutter in your life. Whether this is, I think in every form. I always like to say, like, just say you have a lot of containers in storage. You have to move them around sometimes, okay? Maybe even re-go through them again, make sure everything's clean, uh, dust around, because when there is a lot of storage and a lot of clutter, um, the only thing we collect there are spiders and dust and dead energy. So once we move things around in that, we clear the energy, energetic energy around us. And plus we clean, the, we clean things up. So I do see that for some of you, but this is also clearing out clutter in your life, period. Um, whether it is ongoing problems, maybe a car needs a refresh. So there is this energy of a clear out that's very important. I do see here that symbiotic relationships could be in focus this week. And these are females that are in your life, okay? So important females in your life are coming into focus here too. I do feel that for some of you, this can be that you've been financially kind of um, borrowing from Paul to pay off Peter. Is that the saying? Um, it's like juggling the finances, but um, that is going to be passing because I do feel that it's, it's like just in the nick of time when you need money or something, an opportunity opens up, okay? Or somehow something works out for you. Now, that could be a little bit karmic. If you have some karmic debts, meaning um, maybe you owed people money, you never paid them back. Maybe you stole money in the past or something like that then you're, you're at the point where you need to, you're, you're going through karmic debt, okay? If you have not, um, you're going to get some karmic reward. So it works that way for um, everyone. It's usually the amounts that you did. It's like triple the amounts, you know, I'll, I'll go into that another time when I do karmic, maybe I'll do a karmic reading one day on YouTube. Huh. Anyway, um, I do see also for some of you, this could be a second job offer or you take off, uh, take on a second job, okay? I do see that new doors are opening up for you there, so that's looking good. Like I said, I am seeing females in your life, symbiotic females in your life are going to come into focus. This is a week to also watch your emotional self, all right? Watch your health too because what I see here, your emotional health could trigger stress, and could also make you really bring your energy down and that can lower your immune system. So I do feel that energy. For some of you, this is also tapping into your intuition. What is your gut telling you? Because I see the answers to something or clarity, it's right there. If you really, really look and if you really, really feel, there can be a female that is going to also kind of make something clear for you. This is someone who's quite intuitive in your life as well. So I do feel that energy. There is a, maybe a new beginning, a clarity, or you're like, oh, okay, this person has got it, knows it. I don't know. I'm seeing that kind of energy, okay? Dwelling into spirituality is very important as well. Definitely opportunities are coming through. For some of you, if you started a second job or you started a business, this is going to be something very lucrative in the future. You'll be very successful, but it is the baby stage moment, okay? Which can jump really quickly. So, it, you know, it depends. I do see that kind of energy. So I'm seeing that. I do see opportunities will be presented to you. So that is showing up. There is a strong new beginning here too. This could be someone, for some of you, you could have had a fight with a colleague or someone connected to work. And, or an argument or a rift or something and they offer um, a peace treaty <laughs> or something like that is showing up and it's like creates a new beginning with this person. So that is for some of you. You have a lot of earth energies around you this week too. I see like Taurus and Capricorn um, showing up as well. Also a fire energy, like maybe Sagittarius, okay? Dealing with those energies. I do see that there could be a lot of thoughts of the future for some of you just like daydreaming how something could be. Okay, um, you got a lot of options before you too. For some of you are going to start making some kind of strong affirmations. It can take several months for it to come to fruition. But remember, you can't negate it. You have to make your affirmations strong and believe in them. Okay, so I do feel that energy. For some of you, I feel around the time of um, April going into May, um, a significant wish um, or an affirmation may come to um, fruition too. And even... Um, 
maybe a second affirmation may take them a little bit of delay because around maybe January, wow, well, you got significant timelines here, you may reconsider something or things will change. So, you know, don't ingrain everything in stone either, okay? So that's one thing I'm feeling here. So there's a lot of energies here, a lot of options before you, and I do see um, there can be some triggers from childhood. Maybe mother is coming into focus, okay? Maybe it's her health or maybe it's um, something maybe from childhood. You get like a flashback or I don't know. There is that kind of energy here as well. A lot of feminine energy too. Pay attention to your dreams. They may be um, also signaling some kind of messages to you. I do see also divine timing is at hand for you. Um, I do see here a little bit of confusion um, and trying to make heads and tails out of a situation, but that will come to you. So I do see that. So it's a little bit, you know, the unknown. The best is so is still yet to come, so to speak, okay? So I do feel that energy. I feel by the time January comes, there's going to be a significant change with at least a female symbiotic female in your life. That's showing up for some of you. I know it's a weekly reading, but I read what I see. Um, I do see that there can be, this is a good week if you've been going on interviews or trying to uh, negotiate some kind of a settlement or agreement or a contract, looks really good. For some of you who are writers um, or maybe in school, your thesis is the best. <laughs> um, this is a good time to seal a deal, okay? So I do see that kind of energy. Uh, this is a great energy. Maybe you go into partnership with someone as well, so I'm feeling that energy. Uh, this is a lot of good progress. For some of you, this could be with court and there is um, some negotiations and you're going to settle something and this is you're going to be signing off some kind of a legal uh, contract or agreement. Okay, so I do feel that energy. 